The Australian release of the following media has been rated M and is recommended to be viewed by mature audiences 12 years and over. In your places, everyone. This is a take. Roll the camera and cue the V. Scotty? You called me Mike? I didn't call you Mike. I am Mike. L-M-F-O-X-D-D-D. Very funny. I therefore disagree with your opinion. Where are the captions? Forgot it. Sorry, mate. A viaduct presentation. Guessing they'll probably be showing rides off an amusement park. Come to think of it, I'd solemnly remember the time Sam took me on a boat ride back there. Sam then apparently fell in as we splashes on one of the dikes. Oh my god. Don't you just worry about it, Mike. I've jumped in and saved Sam. Oh, I just missed him. I just wish his suspension from this studio would end soon. Yeah, I'm with you, but it's Dave's call. He's therefore trying to get legal permission to have Sam's community service transferred to his older media but was found himself fighting with Alchemist Muffin's objections. We think I goofed. You say that every time before we go ahead and have a huge ass lunch at Random Diner. But I'll try again. A violent presentation. Well, at least they've warned kids before random scary logos inside a TV get them. <laughs> by communist presentation. So this was how the scary logos had originated as the Cold War propaganda. Ha, uh, Scotty, there's one apparent thing you forgot. What detail, comrade? Don't you comrade me. The Cold Wars ended in the early 1990s. You forced to die. Come me. Usual telling. Dave. Shut your slutty mouth, bitch. Where the hell do you even get off with this lame, awkward, stupid, overrated, and junky ass white thing? That's what Sam used to call you. Why won't you admit it, Mr. Lady Talker? I do not speak like a female. I have the manliest manly voice in the manliest manly history of all manliest manly men. Besides, that's also a lie. I'm not an ass white. You are. <laughs> Hold your cool, Scotty. Relax. Uh oh. I think. I feel a spazzing out to to happen now. Kaboom. What the hell kind of game is even Mafia? Radar, Overseer, Scotty, listen to me, good. It's not freaking Mafia, it's freaking Viacom, and it's not the freaking Emma freaking Doom, it's the freaking Via freaking Doom, so you better freaking stop being a freaking jackass before I freaking burn your freaking bologna sandwiches, you son of a bitch, 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 you classic you and your old ancient jokes in rapid fire succession. Looks like this is perfect timing to thank one of Dave's sponsors. National Tantrum Control National Task Force. Force. The National Tantrum Control Task Force. The National Tantrum Control Task Force is and not so new but new at the time of the original's release organization to which studio CEO David N. Madsen had started up to help people with a strong addiction to the same tantrums you've used to hear. I get it now. The National Tantrum Control Task Force is able to stop a person's tantrum addiction from destroying them. If you'd like to help your loved one, or someone who's had a tantrum addiction, please therefore write a message to this address, the National Tantrum Control Task Force Care of Dave Madsen Entertainment Incorporated, 76 Celron Avenue, New Whitefield City, P.O. Box 4083. Thank God I wasn't assigned to read the text on screen, and now back to your regularly scheduled vi thing. You can be sure, if it's Westinghouse. Scotty, why must you always do this junk to me? Look, I'm sorry. I shouldn't even be using commercial plugs in items anyway. Now we miss Samuel Aaron Andrews. 
David M. Madsen, I don't care what Alchemist Muffin even says. We all want Sam. We want Sam. Don't blow a gasket, Mike. I'm doing everything in my power to gain legal clearance. <laughs> Now what's with that S from hell on a Viacom item now, huh? Let me guess, you heard me scream out about Sam. Of course you'd know that. So that means, if, and when you do get him back eventually I must order his soul to Satan's kingdom. Sorry, freak, but you cannot have the full rights to steal Sam's soul from him just to take it to Satan's kingdom without conclusive proof of guilt. God's orders. Guilt is guilt and Satan's property is Satan's property. Interfere and I'll have the rights to shit over you all. Not this time, Nancy boy. Have a taste of this. <laughs> the NBC snake in a Viacom ID. Next, they'll eventually say brought to you in. I know you plan to break the fourth wall by just throwing Mel Brandt here to make him yell something that is brought to you in living color. Brought to you in living color. <laughs> Mike. I think you are just suffering from withdrawal symptoms. I just agree. I hate to admit this, but I'm starting to feel them. And so am I. We all just can't stand Sam's absence anymore. We want Sam. We want Sam. We want Sam. Here is a former update regarding Microsoft Sam's suspension. A court settlement has been eventually reached. Microsoft Sam's community service has officially been transferred to the custody of Dave Madsen Entertainment Inc. and the suspension was agreed to be officially lifted. Also, David M. Madsen had won a restraining order against Alchemist Muffin preventing him from seeking termination of Dave's former account, but unfortunately closed down, as Windows XP's support was ending. Although Alchemist Muffin is reportedly trying to seek an appeal of the restraining order, the 33rd episode of Looney Tunes parodies Ella Carlton Furnished will be featuring Microsoft Sam. Stay tuned for further updates. Phew, I'm done. Now I can finally take a minute. <laughs>